Yo, what up YouTube? It's your boy D Hyde. In this video, I just wanted to do a complete breakdown of me lining my beard up. In my last video, I just basically did a time lapse of me cutting my beard and shaving my head and everything. Um, but in this video, I'm gonna actually break down um, everything to you guys and show you guys all the tools that I'm using. Try to try to give you as much information as I possibly can. The thing I have here is this uh, this black ice barber pencil that I got from Amazon for about five bucks. Um, it's cool um, if you're if you haven't already established a line yet. Now, of course, as you can see, beard is already in place exactly where I want it. But this pencil is good for those of you that you know probably starting off fresh, probably have your beard fully grown out. You really haven't established you know a, a complete line the way you like it. This this pencil is perfect for that. Because as you can see, let me do a little mark right here. See how it shows up real easily on your face? So you can pretty much draw out your beard exactly where you want it before you uh, get the cutting. That way you're not guessing and you're not bringing your beard down and stuff like that. So I won't be using this today, but this is perfect for those of you that, uh, that hasn't established a line yet or trying to reestablish a new line. So number one, the first thing I'm gonna be using is my uh, my GTX's, my Speedmaster, Speedmaster 2's right here, little throwaway razor, and my Parker's straight razor. Make sure you get the clips with some with some cool care. Make sure that you uh, you comb your beard out. So let's we'll start this now. I'm barely touching it. I don't want to put too much. I don't want to put too much force on it because what's going to happen? Like what happened last time with me? I end up scratching right here on the corner of my mouth. The blades are so new and sharp, you know what I mean? And I have them zero gap. So I'm just taking my time and making sure that uh, I don't press too hard. See that right there? Once I establish that line, I'm pretty much good. You know what I mean? I don't really have to go over that no more. I can just take the straight razor and clean it up, but it looks pretty clean already. Now for the other side. Again, I'm barely touching my face. All right, you see how I got my line? Looks pretty cool. And that's just with the, with the liners. I haven't even touched it with the straight razor yet. Now, for the inside right here. Here's it looking a little, a little wild right now. Probably gotta shave the mustache, mustache down a little bit. Okay, you see how I got that little straight look going right there? Let's do the other side. This section right here is always a little difficult because there's always like little hairs in here that don't want to come off. So I'm finding myself constantly like trying to get them off and keep that line straight. But let's try over here real quick. So now we're gonna line up the mustache. And what I want to do is just kind of take it go at that angle just straight up and then up across at an angle now what I'm gonna do is shave some of this hair off my off my upper lip kind of bend the lip a little bit down So 
this is how one side came out. See that? Compared to this side. Don't push this part up too high because then it'll start looking a little funny. Now I'm going to do this side. Okay, you see how that came out? Not too bad, not too bad. This side is coming out so far. You see the line? Nice and sharp. Nice and sharp on both sides. Now I'm going to clean up in here a little bit. I got, you don't want to go, you don't want to go too deep. Well, I don't go too deep in here. I like to keep my, my beard like this. So I just kind of clean up on the inside a little bit. I like to keep it more like a natural look rather than all like boxed up, you know what I mean? All right, so now it's time to do up under the neck. So for up under the neck, since I already have my line established, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna follow suit. Always keep that, keep that line behind that jawbone. I really don't push my beard forward whenever I'm shaving to do that. Just because a lot of times you can end up, you know, lining your beard up and while you're doing it, you know, you're actually pushing it back a little further than you want. And once you release it, then you realize that, you know what I mean, you kind of push it up a little further than you want. So I just tend to like keep it right where, keep my skin right where it is, you know, and just cut that hair off. Just make sure you comb it out, you know what I mean, so you can get that line as straight as possible. Clean up some of them wild hairs like underneath the neck, underneath the bottom of the beard. I think I did the best that I can right there on that side. Try to make it as round as this side. It's probably not as sharp, but I can probably clean this up with a uh, with a straight razor after I'm finished. So I'm gonna finish working on the back of this piece. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is um, I placed an order for uh, some shaving gel, but what I usually do and what I typically do when I shave is um, I use conditioner, man. You know, it's probably a little, it's probably a little um, unconventional, but uh, it's seems to work pretty well. I don't know if it just softens up the hair, but conditioner works good for me. Take some of that extra off right there. All right, so I got my conditioner in on my face. Pull a little bit of water, right? And then what I'm gonna do right here is I'm just gonna line it up. See how sharp that's coming out? I'm not even stretching the face. You know, I like to just use the razor, just like I said, just for this top area right here. Everything else is pretty much sharpened up the way I like it. So I'm just gonna shave this section right here. And I'll probably come about to about there. Kind of clean up behind the ear. I like to just leave this part, you know what I mean? Just do it right here so I can concentrate on the little taper, the little blending right here. And then I'll just go ahead and shave the rest off. So 
So the same thing for this side. See now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my my speed masters. I'll just take off some of this some of this wild and crazy hair that's growing out. You gotta be really careful when you're doing this so you don't take a chunk out of your beard. Just take your time. You know, you don't want to rush this part. Now I'm gonna use the Speedmaster tools to just kind of blend this in a little better, see if I can. I mean, it looks cool right now, but I'm gonna see if I can just do a little more blending, so. See if I can. A lot of times you end up cutting too much off and you end up going down a little lower and lower and lower before you know it. You be on this thing all all day, man. This is as good as it's gonna get for right here. Um, this has always been my most difficult part to do, man. Blending up, doing that little fade right here. I don't know what it is about um, fade that my beard, but it's always been difficult for me. But that's as good as it's gonna get today. So once I'm done shaving everything up, um, what I do is I take a little bit of alcohol, it's right here, and then I just put a little bit in my hand, and I just rub it all over my face, especially over the area that I just uh, used with the, um, what I just used with the clippers, you know what I mean? It's going to get it up under your neck. Alright, so another thing that I like to do is, um, you see all this hair right here? You see how you got that, like five o'clock shadow going on. You really can't get all that down with just the clips. And then I don't like to take the straight razor and um, go all the way up here. I just mainly use a straight razor for getting me that a sharper line going across. What I do here is take a little bit of conditioner, rub it in on my face, all right? Take me one of these big throwaway razors, brand new of course, and just Shave all this part down with it. Wet it up a little more. I can go up. And this is gonna give you that. That finished clean look. You know what I mean? You see that? Nice and smooth, man. Just give it that finished look right there. And then I can also use it too for like, I really don't go all the way up here, but what I usually do is I'll take the razor and then I'll just clean up like the lower part of the neck. If I go too high, this is where I get those razor bumps. So I can get away with shaving right here and right here. And then up down, up under here, what I do is I don't go down. Don't go down, because you'll definitely mess up your neck getting razor bumps. What you can do is you can go up right here. But try not to go up too far. I just do this to kind of get the hairs that uh, they look a little funky down at the bottom. You know what I mean? Get those as clean as possible. I can live with those little that little stubble look up under here because I can only shave those hairs down so much. So Alright, so now it's time to shave the head. What I do is I use a little bit more conditioner on my head. Use the same big razor. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go forward with it. 
just go forward with it. No backwards, just go forward. It's gonna take off all of here that you need to be taken off. Get you that nice ball head. Sweat it up a little bit more. One thing you gotta remember too, when you're shaving your head, Try not to go past this part right here. I usually shave to about right here. And then um, I really don't go down here on my neck because that's where you you know you tend to suffer from a lot of razor bumps. So if you can try to avoid going all the way down here with the razor, I usually like I said, I usually stop like right at the bottom of my earlobe, straight across. Or maybe like a little higher, you know what I mean? Depending on where you're getting the razor bumps at. Try to go a little higher and then just clean all this up with your um with your liners that way you don't you don't have a lot of razor bumps all right all right y'all that's it man from start to finish everything is done head is nice and clean beard is nice and lined up um i want to thank you guys for watching the video don't forget to like comment subscribe this is your boy d high and i'll check with y'all next time